Hey, hello everyone. Today I will be exploring a little bit the portfolio manager um, and explaining a little bit how, how this is working and trying to to connect the trading bot with uh, with the portfolio manager bot. Um, we've been working with this with uh, with Phil last night and so I'm going to move on a little bit and try to help him get this connected. So this is, this session is going to be about debugging this connection. And I can expect me to go through the code and I will be explaining what I'm doing. So hopefully this is useful for somebody watching the video. <clears throat> it's okay, so let's go. Let's get into the code. Okay, I will be using this testing demo testing portfolio management demo workspace that Phil gave me to me, gave to me. And I will be running three different instances of Visual Studio Code. One for the portfolio manager. That is not this one, this one. Okay. And the other two are going to be the two task servers that we are going to run one running uh, the trading bot and the other the portfolio manager bot. Okay. So let me see where, where we are here. Mm. Okay, let me organize a little bit this. This is a little bit of a mess. Mm. Um, the portfolio portfolio bot has this the session, okay. The session what we were working at. I don't know why this is appearing here. Okay. Select the script. What's going on? Okay, there. Okay, so yesterday we were working on trying to put these things to work. This event, I should be finding an event, even server client. No. Trading system, portfolio session functions, task functions. Um, okay, so here the portfolio manager, even interface. This is what I need now. The even server client, I don't need this, I don't need this. Portfolio session functions. This is UI stuff. I'm going to put it here. Okay, I don't need this. I don't need this here. I need the even interface. Okay. The even interface. This is this is user interface stuff. I'm going to put it on the other side. So essentially I want on this side the code that runs at the task server. Um Trading stages, I don't need it. I just need the portfolio session and the portfolio manager event interface. That is where we are going to be listening to events coming from trading bots, right? So this is where we were yesterday. Uh, we wrote the code, but we, 
we didn't debug it. That's what we are going to do now. So on this side, I probably will need this profile schema. It's useful to be there. WebSockets, network client. I don't think I need this here. Trading session functions, no. Okay, I will keep this here because this is the place where we define which nodes are going to be sent from the UI to the task server, right? When we execute the session of the portfolio manager. And this task functions have the list of nodes that we're going to send from the UI to the task server when we execute the task or each task. It doesn't matter if it is a portfolio board or not. Okay, so this is what I'm going to have here. I'm going to go to the other one. This one. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, it seems that this is unrelated to what we need. This is the other guy we need. It is. Yeah. Okay. So, what we have here probably is also too many stuff. Remove this, remove this. The server don't need this, nor this, or this. Okay, I probably don't need any of this stuff either because are unrelated to what we are going to do now. Name it by order. Yeah, we don't need anything of that. Okay. So at this place, trading stage, this is the code of the of the trading bot, right? So there is a place, the first event that happens here is the trigger on event. That's where we are going to stand. So essentially when we are at the trigger on, <clears throat> we are going to ask the portfolio manager, if we should trigger or not this event. Okay, so we're going to stop it here. Okay, so next thing, we will go here and we will make sure that we have Well, we have the <clears throat> I have the um, Super Algo platform running uh, from outside the I IDE, and what I'm going to do now is to run first the portfolio manager that in this workspace is here the task. Okay, yesterday I set up a shortcut. If I recall, it was con. Control Shift or Control Alt Q for this task. Control Alt W for the trading system for the task of the trading board, right? So I can switch between one and the other just pressing Control Alt Q or W. That is going to be useful to go quickly from one place to the other. Okay. So there is one technique to be able to debug the task server. And usually it's like this. You go to the code that I will be in task server here. I will have I will have running the portfolio manager. So I will just hit F5 to start it. We will open this stuff.
Okay, so Caracos Tax Service is running. Once you have that, then you come here and you run the task in debug mode with debug, not with run, but with debug. Cool. So we check this here. And as you can see, this stop at our breakpoint here. We will stop it also here. So we let it run. Okay. So the portfolio task is running in debug mode inside the ID. Once you have the task running, is that you can run the next ID with the task of the trading bot. That's what I'm going to do. Run this. Okay, it's running. So I come here, use the shortcut, and run it with the debug option. And here it's running. So we have now one portfolio bot and one trading bot both running inside Visual Studio Code in different instances. Okay. So we are going to we are going to try to debug now the code we wrote for these two guys to communi communicate with each other. That's what we are going to try to do now. So. Um, to do this, I'm going to run the session of the portfolio system, the portfolio manager. When I run the session, I don't know what happened. It's not here, it's here. Um, well, I don't know what happened. On session run, it should have stopped here, but it didn't. Well, it seems that Phil was experimenting with it this stuff. Um, we will try it again. But in task no right. Oof. Well, this is worse than I believed. Because yesterday it was working. At least this was working. Hmm. Well, I'm not, I have no idea what is going on now. Whew. Hmm. Okay, we'll check if there are any logs here. Yes, there are. Oh, shit. I'm expecting token. This is a pull request I just merged. My God. Okay. Okay. 
there's something wrong with that pull request that is affecting this stuff. Because this is undefined. User defined parameters. Okay, I think I know what is going on. Uh, these changes that somebody somebody code here, we're expecting that we had these user-defined parameters, but it seems that that is not always the case. So it's not difficult to fix. Let me see if we can fix this or we can continue. What with what we were actually doing? Um, I will use probably this other Visual Studio I have here. There's something with this Visual Studio. Sometimes it doesn't just search efficiently. I guess it's some setting that I have wrong there, but okay, you see. Here it works well, in the other one, thanks forever. Okay, so user define this stuff. Let me see what he does with this later on. This is going to fail everywhere because it's not taking into account that this can be this might not exist. Okay, what I'm going to do is make a quick fix. Like this. Okay, so we'll come back here. We will not need this anymore. Okay, sorry for interruption, but this pull request has just been merged and it's blocking the exercise I was trying to do. So let's try it again. We're going to stop. Task server is where the portfolio manager is running, right? Okay. So I'm going to run this again. 
ways for this to load. I'm reloading the interface because the change that I made was in the code of the user interface, otherwise it wouldn't take effect. Okay, so I go with my shortcut. Control Alt Q and we will run this guy again. So it's running. I don't need this breakpoint anymore. Um, let's go to the other guy. Before running here, I need to run the Visual Studio code. <laughs> is running. So I'm going to go and debug here again. Okay, the trading board is running, waiting for the session to be run. Okay, so when I run this session, I expect this to stop it at my breakpoint but it will also run the session of the trading bot because of the concept of managed sessions that we are introducing with this portfolio manager project, right? Okay, so let's run this session. Unbelievable. Dependency filter again. So, what's the problem now? I don't understand because this should work. <laughs> it's not an object I have to put there. It forgot the quotes because this is going to be parsed here. Where did I do this? My God. Well, hopefully, let's reload the UI again. Let's stop everything again. We will run this because it's totally independent to the other, to the user interface. I need to put a little bit of focus on this browser, otherwise this is going to stop loading. Looks like it's a quite large workspace for the time that it's taking to to load. Okay, let's go here. Debug. This guy is running. Once that is running, run the second one.
this guy is one and two. Okay, I got both running and hopefully will not get the same problem with the dependency filter. Let's try it out. Okay. Okay, so the session is running and it's going to run here. So this is the portfolio manager portfolio manager event interface that means that is the interface this object represents the interface between the portfolio manager and trading bots yeah. it is an event based interface because the communication communication happens via the event server this is exactly what what is going on here so this should detect that we have one managed session that is the one of the trading bot. So it's going to come here, get the session ID. Okay. Yeah. We can use this as a session, as a... The idea was to use the session ID as the event handler. Okay, the event handler, you can think of a room where events happen, okay? Then inside that room, you have events happening of different type, like requests from trading bot. So we can use just the session ID. We don't need to use, to put the type or the name of the node. Um, I used to do this before for debugging purposes when I didn't know if this worked well or not but now that we know that it works well with the ID is enough okay but anyway um, if we keep this then it would it wouldn't be a session ID parameter it would be like the even handler name but let's see if this works first So we will listen here first for events of re of type request from trading bot. And if some message comes, we will get it here. So let's continue running. Okay. Okay, because we put here a return, then portfolio manager is going to do nothing just but listen to that event. Okay, that is exactly what we want. On the other side, okay, on the other side, we got this guy that is the Um, there is the, um, the trading bot that should be going and send that event a request but because it's being used right now this is configured to be a live trading bot it's never going to work because here is a bug testing session I don't understand what is going on Okay, let me see what is going on. It seems that this, the, when, when we run the portfolio manager session, it all, also ran the trading bot session. Mm, but I don't know why this is not working here. Okay, so this says that the strategy depends on a data set. Find not found. Okay, 
yeah I, th I think I get it the strategy that Phil is using here is using some strategy of his own that depends on a data set that I never run I never calculated okay so I have two options here one is to run the data mining and calculate all that stuff which I don't really want to do or remove or replace this trading system by a trading system that is like uh, easier to manage and to know what is going on so I think that is what I'm going to do I'm going to replace this trading system by the trading system on the tutorial getting started tutorial the lighting strike trading system that everybody should know by now okay so let me do just that I will grab the getting starting tutorials workspace I, I load it from the plugin so that is for sure a non-modified version of the of the workspace that is exactly what I need probably I need to simplify it also this workspace because it's like huge it has these data mines that we don't really need okay next time I open it I will clean it a little bit taking a while I'm also running several stuff at my computer including the software to record these videos but it, it takes some CPU okay now I remember that this is a plugin I don't really need to copy this I just need I just need to to load the plugin. Okay, let's go back. Well, a lot of waiting. Let me test my my new screen for waiting time. Well, we are still here trying to get this loaded. Okay, looks like when this is under stress, it's not working like perfectly well. But let's see if we can do the stuff even with this small glinch okay so I'm going to delete this strategy goodbye oh probably I delete something that I should okay 
we'll figure it out later. So we will we will delete also this data mine. Yeah, I also delete the portfolio system with I should have should have shouldn't have done it. But whatever. Um I will load the plugin. with the trading strategy, lighting strike, okay? So I guess, trading engines now. Trading mines, no. This trading strategy, trading system, sorry. So, okay, I cannot. Wow. The only way to load these plugins is to recreate all of them. My God, not missing trading systems. Okay. Thanks God, there are not too much. Okay. Once we have this here, we might close this, save. Now we will reload. We will reload. And then we will have to reconnect the trading strategy with this new trading system. And also we will need a portfolio system that I think I delete accidentally. If you're going to be testing stuff, it's really very convenient to have the a lightweight workspace, the most lightweight as you can get it. Otherwise, it's going to be problematic. Okay, I got the lighting strike here, but I also have the portfolio system. So it seems that I didn't delete this guy. Probably I delete something else, but not this guy, which is good. Because otherwise I would have to figure out how to recreate it. Okay, so let's go to trading session, trading system reference. I can detach here. And I can attach this from the list. Lighting strike is the only one present at the workspace. Okay, cool. I should save this. And now we shouldn't have the same problem because now the data set for lighting strike, I do have it at my hard drive now uh, processes, process it. So we will run the test again. Go back here, stop this one. So we start the portfolio manager. <clears throat> we link it by running the debug here. 
to the UI. It is running, so we can run the next one. And we run it with the bag. Okay. So now again, we go here and we will run this, this session. But instead of debugging this, we already debug it, so we know that what is going to happen. I will remove the breakpoint here and the break and leave only the breakpoint where I know this is going to receive the message. Okay. And we have to fix this name because now this is not a session ID. So Got it. Got to keep that in mind. <clears throat> okay, so I guess we should just let it go. This is the 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 trading bot. So let's go. Now I'm interested on the trading bot. We should stop at some point. Yes, here. Perfect. And we already know this already happened. So this guy should be listening to a request from the trading bot. Okay. So from here, we will go step by step. This is where the trigger on event is it's being handled so I enter into here and we just step here a little bit okay first problem the event node that is triggered on it should have a node called as portfolio events manager but it doesn't have it because I replaced the strategy. The previous strategy, the one that used these indicators that I didn't have, probably had it, but not this one. And this is kind of a problem because this is a plugin. So this is what it's going to do, it's going to force me to clone the plugin, put it at the workspace, recreate it at the workspace, okay? and remove this guy from here and also remove the plugin so that it's not loaded again okay because i don't want to modify the 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 trading system if i, if I need to modify it, that i do need to modify it i i not don't want to replace the plugin not just yet while we are testing this. So what we're going to do is, is to use a copy of this, which is here. And by the way, I'm going to move it somewhere else. Control Shift Y or Control Shift Z, not Y. I'm going to put it like with Control Shift X here. Okay, so I save this. And this is what we are going to do. Close this open stage and at the trigger stage, we will create the node that was missing as portfolio manager. and specifically add confirm event so if, if 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 the portfolio manager wants to confirm that the event is going to to be triggered or not okay so that's the idea so it's just adding the nodes there's nothing to configure or nothing to say just adding the node should be enough so unfortunately to test this again 
we'll have to run all the stuff again probably or probably not yeah we'll run it again so here we go portfolio first debug next is the trading bot debug next okay next is coming back here and we will run the session of the portfolio manager it will put the portfolio manager to listen to events and it will automatically run the session of the trading bot that is managing and once that session starts it will get to the point where it has to ask the portfolio manager well it doesn't seem to have taken this this stuff maybe there yeah now I start thinking okay <sighs> let's see what's going on here at the UI I don't see any any errors here but I don't understand why it's not working this continues like nothing happens no, nothing happened What could go wrong? I don't know what, what is going on. I will try running this again. Okay. Just to be sure, this is the first one to run the portfolio. I will wait until it tells me that it's running. Then I come here and run it with debug. Okay. So this is running for sure. I will run this one. Is this running? Go to the other side and run it with debug. It looks it looks like it is running so I come back again 
and run the session of the Portfolio Manager. Okay, something happened here. The trading session session run. I am a little bit lost because the first time we ran it and it worked so trading session okay where are we this is a call running at the task server it belongs to the trading bot and it's inside this stuff that is called trading session okay ah uh, the trading system is not parsing well why because it has an expect token at position one that it most likely uh, a u of undefined so well, that means that the trading system is probably coming with an undefined. But we can check it here because this is still running. So we can run the session again, even from here. Run. Yeah, trading system is coming undefined. The event itself that is coming says dependency filter session trading engine. So this is good. Session is good. Dependency filter is good, but the trading system is undefined. Why? Why is undefined? Because it might be failing at the browser level. Let's check that out. The thing is that there is no absolutely no error here so we'll have to locate here the code where that stuff is produced we are talking about the trading bot so that's the algorithmic trading project trading session functions it is here This is returning undefined. Let's check it out. Undefined. But why? Well, to know why we will have to go deeper inside there I'm trying to to reason what is going on and I don't really understand because this we, the only thing we did was to add this node and this other node so 
why can this produce that result as portfolio events manager as portfolio event manager event manager confirm event raise event we have a confirm event is even this looks good to me but anyway let's go let's go into the deep we'll run this session again f11 to get inside Okay. Okay. So what this means is that the node trading system that is being referenced. <laughs> okay, I got it. Um yeah, I should I should put a, something here because this is like it's very tricky. Um, I will put a warning because otherwise people will never figure out this without debugging like deeply. Okay, let's find that code. Oops, it seems that it's everywhere. This one. Um. I will log a warning because what is going on is that I deleted the trading system uh, after I clone it. So the trading session reference was is referencing a deleted node, okay? That doesn't have a payload. That means that is exit exist exiting from here but without any trace of what happened warning so um could could not So I'm going to put some hint that what is going on here because otherwise it's very difficult to realize what is going on. Okay. So in this case, the problem was this one just going to close this what I need to do is to reference this again detach attach and now it should work because now it's referencing the clone of the plugin not the plugin that I deleted okay so we will try to send it again. 
but we will need to restart everything to make the test again from zero. So this is the portfolio. is running debug then the trading bot is running now the session of the portfolio that is going to run the session of the trading bot. Let's go. There we go. Okay, let's get in. Now this guy should, should exist. That means that we need to ask the portfolio to confirm this event if this exists. So the message for now is going to be this, confirm this event can be raised. This is the event we're sending. So we're going to go through this Portfolio Manager Events Client. Okay. But here there will be a problem because here the session key is actually, oh no, it's not the key. Phil already fixed this. Session key. Okay, probably this is the reason why he fixed it on the other side. Okay, that's how we call it, session key, not session ID. So I need to fix the other code. But here, what we will do, return a promise, and this going to enter here. So this is going to listen to the response and we want to stop when we get onto the callback here and after listening for the response it's going to send the event, okay? So we let it run and voila, we are in the Portfolio Manager even interface, we got the message, okay? I, the message is here, even trigger on, confirm, blah, blah, blah. So this guy is going to, well, it, here it's supposed to process the request. So it's going to go through all the logic of the portfolio system and all the logic that might be there. And from here, it's going to send the response via an event with the same session ID that it should be stopping on the other side at the trading system bot. Let's check it out. And here we are. <clears throat> well, this is the response, exactly what we were waiting for. That is what we put here. And we will resolve this promise and just going to come back here and probably end up here. 
Okay, so we continue. And the answer is, well, probably not, not very well handled because it's the first time that this loop was complete. But this is it. We have witnessed for the first time the first trading bot asking the first portfolio manager for something. In this case, when the trigger on event was triggered, it will ask the portfolio manager if it is okay to trigger it or not. The portfolio manager may say no, you cannot trigger that. And that is uh, that is what the portfolio manager is for to supervise the trading bots and to make them do whatever he thinks is good okay so to finish this session i would like to go and fix the naming The naming stuff, uh, I don't like it to be inconsistent. We're going to call this session key. Session key, it's going to be the session key. The session key. Session key there. Key there. And the last one here. Um. Before finishing, I think I'm going to move this function inside here because I don't like how it stay there outside. This probably should be inside here and so we don't need to pass this as a parameter because it's on the same on the same place where it is defined, okay? Okay. So, just to confirm, we are going to make the test one more time. Request, we are going to stop here. And this is also not running. So, we run this one. we debug here and then we run the next one and we go and debug here we come back and run the session which is going to run both session the portfolio and the trading bot session here, here it is. So this is going to ask. Send this. Okay, so it worked. And when I send the request back, it's back here. Okay. So I like how this is going. Just going to stop it here. And I'm going to save the workspace that is working and I'm going to contribute this code so that Phil can use it and he can test it by himself. So what I use for that is this workspace where I have my, my settings ready to contribute.
hold on it's just one more minute so I can show you the whole process how I do it okay So this work workspace, I just type this. Portfolio manager. Portfolio manager. Mm. Plus bug fixes with uh, black bug fixes. Doesn't really matter by now. So let me take a look at the files that I changed during this stuff, during this session. The dependency filter that has this bug. The portfolio manager interface, okay, that is working. I added this to warn people why this is not working. Okay, and that was from before. So all good. Enter. Okay, contribution done. Okay. Okay, guys, so uh, hope you enjoy this session. This is my first session that I'm doing recording, and I will be continue with this. I, pro I think that probably will help other people to understand how to debug, and how to work the code base. Uh, probably it's not that efficient for me to be talking, um, but anyways, in this particular case, I am, this is the continuation of a, of a session we had with Phil last night when we were trying to put this to work because I was working on the trading bot and he was working on the portfolio manager so we were connecting this together. Um, well, if you like it, you can continue watching these videos. I, I will try to make it as usable as possible. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching. And see you next time.